What's up guys, today I'm gonna to show you probably the most important color correction tool in Final Cut Pro that you're not using. It's called the Comparison Viewer. I'm gonna show you where it is, how it works, and how I would use it. Let's just dive right into it. This particular project is a perfect example of where the Comparison Viewer comes in handy. We've got these three subjects shot over a blue background, a very corporate background. And at first glance, you think, yeah, what's so hard about that? They're all over those same blue background. But if you think about what might have been happening on set, you can see why this might be a little bit more challenging because the exposures and the heights of the lights and stuff would have to be different for all of these three people. This first woman here is very fair skinned. This next woman here is darker in her hair and complexion and then this guy here is taller than both of them so the lights would have had to have been moved up for him so once we start color correcting you'll see why getting these blue backgrounds to look uniform between the three of them might get a little challenging so i'm first going to start with this blonde woman and i'm just going to color correct her a little bit she's going to be our baseline i'm going to open up my scopes I'm going to shrink down my browser window so we can get a good look here. And I'm going to apply my default effect, which is that white balance plugin too. If you missed my Final Cut native tools versus third party plugins video, which you guys really loved and want to see a part two of, I'll link to it down below. But I featured this particular plugin in that video. I'll link to this one down below as well. So I'm just going to do some very basic color correction here. We're not looking for anything too stylized. We really just want to make it look true to life. I'm just checking my skin tones here. We look like we are dead on. If you don't know what I'm doing, you should check out my scopes tutorial. I'll link to that below as well. All right, so that's a very basic color correction. Now, theoretically, I should be able to take this woman and copy and paste the attributes and have them look perfectly even, but they don't. Look at how different the blues look. And they both look fine, but they don't look like they're in the same video. This is where the comparison viewer is gonna come in super handy. So let's access that comparison viewer. We're gonna go up to window, show in workspace and select comparison viewer. The shortcut for which is control command and six. I don't remember that. I just go right up to that menu here. So you can use the comparison viewer in a couple of different ways. By default, it's going to open to the timeline view, which basically allows you to navigate to the previous edit from where your playhead is in your timeline or to the next edit. We don't have anything next, so there's nothing to see there. That's one way to use the comparison viewer. I personally prefer the saved option. So up top here at the comparison viewer, I'm going to hit saved and I'm going to queue up my playhead to the frame here in my viewer that I wanna save, and I'm going to hit the save frame button. Now, when I open up the frame browser here, you can see that still frame is now in this pop-up window. I'm going to close that, and I'm actually gonna close my scopes at this point so I can get my two images side by side. I'm happy with the way this woman looks. I just wanna play with just the blue background. So what I would do at this point is just add a color board with a color mask, and tweak the blues until they look exactly right. So this is the before and this is the after. I'm going to add this gentleman to the mix and you can see why I like saving a frame and using that frame browser. I don't have to worry about with the timeline view of like clicking back to the previous edit or next edit because I wanna use this woman in the pink shirt as my control. And you can see here in the frame browser that you can save up to 30 frames per library. If for some reason you wanted to delete one of these frames, all you have to do is select it and hit the delete key. So that is how you use the comparison viewer in Final Cut Pro. It is such a helpful hidden tool when you're trying to match shots like these. Did you like this video? Let me know. Give me that thumbs up. Drop a comment. I love hearing from you. I picked out some other videos I know you're going to love and I'll see you again.